think it's for two and a half. I mean, does he need to put it into it? Right now, do you want to wait until 45 to 1943 years later? Zero, zero, zero. Okay. And you had double checked it and you double checked it. Copy. Zero, three, two, two, one, nine. Yeah, that's nice. Beacon Duran and track as begins. ISS is rising with the horizon right now. Copy that GSO. Copy that GSO. Check the station. They said they saw us, right? I'm not seeing it in the signals. Hey! 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 But a short answer to that is the link was you still have to process some data, but everything we Can you confirm with the pro that we want to start uh, doing file transfer? So we want to do the subset. Uh, it's looking great. It's looking really good. Gimbal has stowed. What's the file path? Could you get yeah, you gotta oh, turn it up. It, it's yeah. there, you gotta turn it up. Turn it up somewhere here, but uh, Let's put it on in then there. the initial artifacts are a result of the file. There it is! Except this information super high res. <laughs> yeah. Now that's fine. Uh, we have a two and a half watt laser up on our payload and we pointed that very precisely at our ground station. We modulated a high definition video over that laser beam and we got it to the ground successfully. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited. I think the whole team is very excited. Spent five years getting to this point and we're really excited that it all went off without a hitch. Well, optical communications is raising the data rate for everything in space. So it's like an upgrade from dial-up modem to fiber optics cables. And I want to get high definition video and all sorts of information at my fingertips from the solar system. This is the way to do it. Well, this is the first uh, optical downlink of Opal's getting a high definition video down to the ground and is the first American unit on the space station to do that at a high data rate. And so it's a big, big moment for the space station, a big moment for us, and a big moment for JPL. It's the first JPL optical communications demonstration as well. Yes, that's right. Our team is a little bit unique in our age. Uh, most of us are under the age of 30. Um, a lot of us started out with Opals when it was part of the Phaeton program at JPL. It's an early career hire training program. That's uh, for uh, employees who are within three years of graduation from university. And so we all started as Phaetonites, and now we've graduated. We're doing a real project now.